Other interesting political news, you have Elon and Chuck Schumer pushing for citizenship for millions of illegals. I want to say this uh, story sounds familiar because, yeah, it's pretty much what politicians or Democrats have done for decades. And it works. I mean, you import them illegally, and then they grant them amnesty, and then they more after that, they vote blue. That's why one of the reasons California is so blue, that's why they want sanctuary cities, but they also get increased in the House of Representation, Representatives because the U.S. is mentally vacuous. They actually count that by the number of people living there, not number of citizens. So there's a reason why they actually want sanctuary cities. They want illegals there because it helps them politically. Ridiculous. Now, this comes directly from Elon's good old profile on the X Twitter, and he's responding to Chuck Schumer. So Chuck Schumer, and this is a video from Mario Wolf in the Wall. This is about 16 seconds. At least Chuck Schumer did one thing, right? He, he at least suited up. Interesting enough, he has an American flag lapel pin, which that's pretty rare these days in politics, especially on his political aisle. The only way we're going to have a great future in America is if we welcome and embrace immigrants, the dreamers, and all of them, because our ultimate goal is to help the dreamers but get a path to citizenship for all 11 million or however many undocumented <laughs> there are here. Same in pot. I mean, this is great because, again, more information the better, more accurate represented. I mean, then the quiet powder allowed. Yet another conspiracy theory proved true. Add that to the, um, I was going to say, you probably saw the U.S. deficit by the, with that jar by now. If you put a dollar every time the Alex Jones was right jar. Got to be overflowing these days. Now, Elon responded saying, quote, The incentive is obvious, as it would turn all swing states into deep blue Democrat states, making America a one-party country forever. Now, this got 21.6 million views, as well as 115. Oh, I thought it could be the one extra like to get 116,000. But no, it is 116. 15,000 likes. Elon also responded saying, quote, that's what happened to California after the amnesty for illegal aliens passed in the 1980s. We got 10,000 likes. Planet of Memes, oh, they, though they did not use an actual meme, nevertheless, the Planet of Memes says, quote, import millions of immigrants, give them all lots of free stuff, amnesty for all, new lifelong Democrat voters. Forever blue. Yep. Getting 5,000 likes. Elon responded saying exactly, getting 4.2 thousand likes. We have, oh, another contrarian statement, Luke Zaliski, the famous leftist, well, Famous to me because I follow him on the X Twitter. Famous for, you know, wearing a V-neck t-shirt as a man in public. And also because his profile, the top thing he talks about is how he says young boys should not be allowed to play football. Yeah. So Luke says, quote, if you surrender your government to Elon, you'll never get it back. Oligarchy isn't something you could change with a vote. You'll be prisoners instead of having government staffed with accountable, <laughs> account accountable normal folks working for you. that have a billionaire boss as your worker. And that you work for. This is especially hilarious when you look at the political moves that have been done on the left and the right. It's one of the most biggest cliches of people who say, "Oh, Trump's going to—he'll never—he'll never—he'll never stop. He'll be dictator forever." Then why did he step down peacefully the first time? He told people to peacefully protest, and yeah, he says accountable, normal folks. How many normal? How many accountable people are working in the U.S. government right now? Let me know. How many do you think? You also have X Van Fleet, who's a famous individual who escaped communism in China, and he says, "Quote: Words matter. There's no such thing as an undocumented immigrant." When, when one is illegally entering the country, they are illegal aliens. These politicians are, who encourage this are criminals. Gain 1.4 thousand likes. Paul Zupa says, quote, This man's disgusting. Chuck Schumer and all Democrats trying to grant them illegal illegals amnesty need to be tried for treason. Tr Schumer deserves to be in jail for the rest of his life. He's pure evil. Gain 506 likes. He also has no idea about how to be, you know, cook a hamburger. Famously, a couple of months ago, he tried to appear, you know, normal. And he had a raw meat patty on a grill. He's pretending like he was grilling. It shows you how disconnected these DC elites are from reality. You don't know how to turn on and use an actual grill. And it's so easy these, these days. Most of them have an electronic starter. Now, you also have Governor Eagleman says, quote, A one-party country quickly turns into tyranny. History has proven this time and time again. In 1.3 thousand likes, he also says, quote, All the Dems have to do is say, quote, The other guys running against me will deport you, so vote for me. As a quick trip uh, into totalitarianism that would take a war to get out. Gain 1.5 thousand likes. He also says one way to get stop this, but for Trump getting 2.1 thousand likes. Here. Frank Furter says Schumer calls migrants illegal aliens and criminals. Please repost. Getting 350 likes. Here. Oh, this is an old quote from Chuck Schumer, SRT 128, said, quote, this is a Chuck Schumer quote. Said, quote, when I'm oh, sorry, um, when you phrase when you when we you when you when you we oh this is a terrible quote from chuck schumer grammatically speaking but he says quote 
when you we phrases like undocumented workers, we convey a message like um, to the American people that the government is not serious about combating, combating illegal immigration. What happened to Chuck Schumer? In 330 likes. Uh, not too many contrarian statements out there. Trump Army says, anyone knows why, quote, uh, Democrat guide to identification, bank ID, airport ID, doctor ID, pharmacy ID, school ID, gun store ID, fishing ID, hunting ID, daycare ID, hospital ID, drinking ID, voting, no ID. Make it 600, 600, 602, let's make it 603 likes. Let's see here. So yeah, now the only question is, I mean, a lot of them are getting registered before the election, apparently. Now, the only question is, do you think it will actually happen before this upcoming election? It's, it's right around the corner. And granted, I think it'll, I mean, obviously make a huge difference in 11 million more voters. Yeah, will they get that done in time? Or maybe they'll, they'll just, I mean, it, it all takes time is on their side. What this just takes, Trump wins, then, you know, four years, and no one gets deported. Well, then four years later, you'll have a supermajority. But let me know in the comments. What do you, I mean, what are the odds that they actually get this done before the up, current upcoming presidential election? And then what your thoughts are in regard to the future in terms of if Trump wins, will he, logistically speaking, is there any way you can actually possibly deport all of them? Let me know in the comments, because as always, be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you can click that button, i greatly appreciate it. Also, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment. It's a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.